Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial, my name is Timster. Today I'm going to be going over part 17 in the Project FPS tutorial series. So in the last part we went ahead and we got ADS going for the secondary weapon, so aiming down the sights, like so. So again, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out that part so you can be up to date. But apart from that, we're going to get straight on into this tutorial. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, add one more additional thing and that is over here on the rig we're going to go move this up here we're going to scroll down all the way to our Glock ADS and our Glock ADS recoil now what I'm going to do here is uh, choose layer 1 for both and maybe 0.4 for this one and 0.3 for that one and then what I'm going to do just minimize both of those bring this back down and basically what that will do is if there are any instances where you're meant to be aiming but you're not uh, and you do shoot then that should blend together nicely so um, hopefully we should be able to get sort of aiming and shooting uh, working a lot better than it was before so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to layer 2 down here we're gonna go ahead and get this weapon here our Glock uh, C to sort of circle select and choose all the parts on it then I'm going to press M and move to layer 1 go back over to layer 1 now what I'll do is select my rig here change this to the dope sheet and then I'm going to move this up wrong one there we go and then what I'm going to do is change the animation here so we want to have um, Glock not Glock we want M24 probably recoil will be the best one for that so let's go ahead and go over into pose mode select the gun bone here press alt r to get rid of the rotation then we're going to go back into object mode and select the gun spawn shift s cursor to selected then the main body of this and then shift s selection to cursor hold down shift and select the gun spawn and press control P and parent alright so number zero and there we go scroll along to update and that is looking good now what I'm gonna do is go over here and we actually want to add our own animation so over here I'm going to click the plus to add a new animation this here I'm gonna call M24 ADS and then what I'm going to do, click out, choose the F here and then what I'm going to do is we don't need the recoil frame so uh, basically easy way to do this, go all the way to frame 0 with nothing selected so if you have something selected press A to deselect it then go along to frame 0 press Control K and then press Control I to invert the selection X and delete so now we should only have that one frame which is when it's idle cool so numpad zero so the ADS should probably be around about the same length so 10 frames so making sure you're on frame 10 uh, we're gonna go over into pose mode so for our rig here we're gonna go to pose mode and then what we're gonna do is select the moving hand parts and then the gun bone as well there we go numpad zero and then we want to move it up so we can look through it like that now before I do that I'm actually going to go out of pose mode select this press H to hide select the box H to hide and then numpad zero again go back to or we'll select the rig we'll go into pose mode and then down here we'll choose solid or textured so we can see what we're doing alright so make sure you have those three bones selected then we're going to press GY, move it across, and then RY, rotate it down a bit, move it up, so something like that, uh, RZ, slightly GX, and then GZ, alright, and moving it something like that. Then what I'm going to do is press 1, uh, and actually 3 on the numpad, so we can see where our ray is being shot from and actually we'll go over to one and just straighten this up so rotating it like so then we'll go along to three and we'll go ahead and move this up like that now I'm gonna press RY rotate it on the Y axis 
so we can get it just popping out like that, RZ, right in the middle like so, and there we go. So that should be good, maybe down a little bit, roughly, okay, and so numpad zero, and you can see we have the bottom of the gun showing through. So what we might need to do is press RY, rotate it down a little bit. Otherwise what we could also do is select the camera and you can go to the settings and turn the clipping down. So maybe we'll change it to 0.05, the clipping, and then we'll obviously move our arms back up. So select both of the moving parts, these two, then the gun bone, number zero, and I guess just move it back to where it was before. Cool, so number three, that is over, which is bad, so move it back underneath, then RY, flatten it out a bit, and there we go. I insert location rotation. Cool, so numpad zero, and that is looking fine, maybe RY just a little bit more, but that should be good. So I'm gonna select deselect, and then select everything, then press I and insert location rotation. So now what I'm going to do is go over here, click the plus, and make a new animation. This here I'm going to call m24 underscore ads underscore recoil. Then I'll click out, uh, choose the F. Then I'm going to get rid of the first keyframe on this new animation. So down arrow to go to the other keyframe, control K, X, and delete. Now I'm going to go back to this one, control K, and then GX minus 10. So it's on frame zero. Cool, so I think we might have a little bit of a problem, uh, but that seems to just be the walking animation. So that should be fine. The view here we can just ignore for now. So what we're gonna do is on frame four, I think. So let's go ahead to our M24 recoil, our normal animation and that is from frame 0 to frame 4. So let's go back to our ADS recoil, go along to frame 4, and then we'll press Shift D, making sure you have it selected, and then GX4. Then enter, and now we'll go along to frame 1, and then what we'll do in here is have our sort of recoil or kickback. So now what I'm going to do I select the gun bone, select both of these bones. Oh, not that one, this one. And then I'm going to press GX to move it backwards. And then RY and GZ to move it down. Now hopefully that hasn't gotten in the way. Although because we are playing the walking animation, yeah, it might be slightly inaccurate. I insert a location rotation. So let's go ahead and select everything. I insert location rotation, and then that should be about it. So our recoil animation, cool. So I guess we can go ahead and tone it down later, but for now that should be fine. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go back over here, back to object mode, and then down here I'm gonna add my two actions. So those two, then what I'm gonna do is m24 underscore ads, and then M24 ADS. And then on frame four, oh, no, this one is frame 10 because it's the ADS animation. So it'll be the same settings as over here. So flipper and continue, uh, priority to one, blending to three. Then also down here, I'm gonna turn off continue like over here, and choose M24 ADS recoil. That one there, and frame four, and give it some blending, and priority of two, I think it is. Yep, and then what we're gonna do is also add in our layers. So let's choose layer two for this one. Give it a bit of blending. And that should be good. Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and join those up. So the ADS goes to ADS and the shoot goes to shoot. And then we'll minimize both of those. Cool. So over here, 
scroll along and go to the text editor. So what I'm going to do is basically go ahead and first of all import in my animation. So m24 underscore ads is equal to cont dot actuators and then m24 underscore ads. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I guess delete that line and then we're going to pretty much copy and paste all of this. So enter twice, go to the start, control V to paste and um, oh I guess that wasn't a good idea enter once again so we have a bit of space and then now we'll change Glock to M24 so the first thing we're going to do is equipped here we'll change to 1 and then go down to the next line that's all fine and keep going ADS and then here M24 again M24 equipped again to 1 and then keep scrolling, all of that should be fine M24 uh, oops. and equipped is equal to 1 and equipped is equal to 1 alright so that should be all of that done now in here what we want to do is activate M24 ADS and M24 ADS alright so apart from that I think that should be about it. The only other thing we need to do now is the shooting. So let's quickly do that. So over here we'll copy and paste this. Uh, control C. Then new line. Alright, paste it in. Enter. Bit of white space. And so in here what we'll do, single dot positive. Now what we want to do is we want to have auto fire dot positive. So auto oh, auto fire dot positive now also what we need to do is we need to change this uh, to ADS M24 shooting there we go uh, Glock ammo we want M24 ammo equipped is equal to 1 and all of that stuff is fine we want to activate our uh, M24 ADS recoil, so I guess down the bottom here, M24 ADS recoil is equal to CONT dot actuators and then M24 underscore ADS underscore recoil. Now what we're going to do is I guess replace it in here. So let's change that to M24 and then change this to M24 as well. Uh, did we import in? Yes, we did. Alright, so that should be fine. M24 shoot is the message, hopefully. So, uh, let's check this. Yep, M24 shoot. So that is fine. Now we're going to go along to here again. Auto fire. Not positive. ADS is equal to 2. Uh, and deactivate uh, M24. So... I guess just replace clock with M24. Alright, cool. So that should actually be about it. So before I test it, I'm going to select my main weapon here, press Alt P, clear the parent, and then press, I guess move it over here, and then press Z to go into wireframe, select all the parts uh, by pressing C for circle, and then M and move to layer 2. So let's go over to textured and press P. Alright, reload, try weapon 1, and there we go. So we can almost move to and from. So I'm going to go to Window and Toggle System Console. So as you can see, we have a couple errors. M24 ADS Recoil does not exist. So um, let's go ahead and make sure we named them. We did not. So M24 underscore ADS. I'll just scroll in so you can see what I'm doing. M24 underscore ADS underscore recoil. So one more thing I forgot to do is also on the priority here, we need to make sure that ADS is set to 3 and that the recoil is set to 2. So what I think the problem is, is if we go back to ADS, uh, we need to make sure that equipped is equal to 2 and 1 for these. So, and equipped is equal to 2. 
then again over here, then also down here, and equipped is equal to 2. I should actually just copy this here, control C, and then uh, paste it in. Alright, and that should all be fine. Now I'm going to do the same over here. So copy this and paste it in there, and then also over here. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out. Uh, it looks like it's sort of working, but the normal animation for recoil isn't quite working properly. I'm going to go ahead to the shoot script and see what we're doing here. So what we need to do, M24 shooting, ADS is equal to 2, that should all be fine. What I think we missed out is putting it up here, yeah. So let's go ahead and add ADS is equal to 0. Alright, and I think that should be about it. Alright, try it again. There we go. Uh, first weapon. Reload. Okay, there we go. So now it's working properly. Alright, so the only problem now is the uh, glitch with the gun sort of being within the player's view so you can see into it. So let's go ahead and fix that. So back to layer 2. Set to go into wireframe, select this and all the parts. So careful not to select a grenade or something. Uh, let's select that one. And I think that's it. So M and move to layer 1. Then across to layer 1. And we're going to do what we did before. So let's go over here, select the rig, change this to dope sheet. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go uh, to our M24 ADS recoil. So I'm going to go into pose mode. I'm going to select this here and press Alt R, uh, get rid of the rotation, object mode, select this, Shift S cursor to selected, this one Shift S selection to cursor. Hold down Shift, select that, Control P and parent to object. Alright, so now if we go back to the rig uh, and update, that should work fine. So numpad 0, and let's go over to textured. So to fix this, I'm going to go over to pose mode, I'm going to select the moving hand bones, so these two. Then I'm also going to select the gun bone, the one in the middle. And I'm going to press GZ to move it down on these z-axes. There we go, that's looking a little bit better. I'm going to press numpad 3, make sure it's fairly accurate. Um, yeah, something like that should be fine. Numpad 0 again. Then I'm going to select everything, so A to deselect, A to select everything. I and insert location rotation. So now uh, this last frame is still broken. So to ensure we get the same keyframe, what I'm going to do is press A to deselect, go along to frame 0, control K to select the one keyframe, then press control C to copy, and then go ahead to frame 4, control V to paste, and then also on our M24 ADS, I'm going to go along to this frame here and then press Control v to paste. Let's go back into object mode and hopefully that has fixed it. Select the main body of the weapon, Alt P, clear parents, uh, move it over here, Z to go into wireframe, select all the parts and then press M and move to layer 2. Alright, numpad 0 and let's go to textured, press P and go ahead to weapon 1. Alright, and there we go, that's looking a little bit better. Right, so there we go. So there we go guys, that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a like or comment down below. All of that stuff is greatly appreciated. But again, um, yeah, hope you're enjoying the series. Next time, we're going to go ahead and we're going to probably go ahead and add the blood around the screen and the player health. So again, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.